Today, I'm diving into the world of earwax to see if it really is good for you. I'll be trying some crazy tests to find out. Earwax is one of those topics that a lot of people don't really think about until it becomes a problem, but today I want to explore the idea that earwax might actually be good for us. One of the main reasons people think earwax is bad is because it's just plain gross. I mean, who wants to think about the sticky, gooey stuff that builds up in their ears? But beyond that, a lot of people think your wax is dirty or unhygienic, and that it's something we should be trying to remove as much as possible. This misconception probably stems from the fact that ear wax is often associated with hearing loss, itchiness, or other ear problems. If someone's experiencing these issues, they might assume that the ear wax is the root of the problem and try to clean it all out. And let's be real, the commercials for ear cleaning products don't exactly help, they often portray ear wax as this nasty, disgusting substance that needs to be eradicated. But is this really the case? Are we doing ourselves a disservice by trying to remove ear wax as much as possible? So, what exactly is ear wax, and what's its purpose? Ear wax, also known as cerumen, is a natural substance produced by the glands in our ears. It's a combination of dead skin cells, hair, and the secretions from those glands. And it comes in two types, wet and dry. Wet ear wax is more common in people of European and African descent, while dry ear wax is more common in people of East Asian descent. One of ear wax's main functions is to protect our ears from dirt, dust, and other small particles that might try to enter. It acts as a barrier, trapping these particles and preventing them from reaching the eardrum. It also helps to lubricate the ears, keeping them moist and preventing itchiness and irritation. But perhaps the most surprising thing about ear wax is its antibacterial properties. It's been shown to have a type of antibiotic that helps to fight off infections and keep our ears healthy. In fact, ear wax is so effective that it's even been shown to inhibit the growth of certain types of fungus and bacteria. So, ear wax is not just some useless substance that builds up in our ears, it's actually playing a crucial role in keeping us healthy. And this raises an important question, if ear wax is so beneficial, why are we trying to remove it all the time? This is a pivotal moment in our conversation about ear wax. Up until this point, we've been operating under the assumption that ear wax is bad, but now we're starting to see that it's actually good. And this changes everything. In conclusion, your wax is not the enemy, it's our friend. So, next time you're tempted to grab that cotton swab and start digging, remember that ear wax is actually doing you a favor. What's your experience been with ear wax? Have you ever had any issues with it, or have you learned to appreciate its benefits? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to learn more about ear health, be sure to check out my video on the top ear care mistakes you're making.